is popping it's your girl cordy and i'm here because the lord put something on my heart and you know i'm in this uh I'm in this new wave right now where I'm doing whatever the Lord tells me to do, okay? So, basically what I want to do is, is I'm going to come on here and I am going to read a scripture, right? And I'm going to elaborate on it. Um, and just hopefully it resonates with somebody, you know? I think that a lot of young people need to hear God's word and they need to understand God's word. And I think that sometimes the words in the Bible go over people's heads. And I think people don't use the tools and the resources that they have to understand the Bible. Like there's a Bible app with a bunch of different versions on it in ways that you can understand. I just the King James version, right? So, um, yeah, like this Bible right here. I got this Bible when I was really young. One of my aunties gifted it to me. It's a teen Bible, and I still read it. And I can read the King James Version and um, any other version and still, you know, understand. But I like this Bible because, you know, it's just in plain words. Just really straightforward. However, the King James Version, I feel like it's, uh, it's a good version to read, for one, because you can hear, you kind of feel like, you know you can hear jesus exactly if that makes sense you know um yeah so today the scripture i'm gonna read is jeremiah 29 11 and it reads for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and with that being said i know that um we go through a lot of things, bless you. We go through a lot of things in life, a lot of trials, you know, a lot of hardships, a lot of situations where we feel like we want to give up, you know, and um, that's what life is. But what we need to understand and grasp is that Jesus doesn't want us to fail. He doesn't want us to give up, you know, he wants us to lean on him. Okay, he wants us to know that he put us here for a purpose. Okay, and that all we have to do is listen to him, seek after him. Okay, to give us the guidance to get through whatever situations we're going through, and he will prosper us. He wants you to live a life of abundance, he wants you to have the life that you've always dreamed of. You know what I mean? He doesn't want you to be you know in a sunken place he doesn't want you to be depressed he doesn't want anything like that we go through things so we can have a testimony you know so we can give god the glory how would god ever get any glory if we never went through anything at all and we never had to call on him if we never had to get down on our knees and weep you know you feel me you have to go through things to get over things and to be able to conquer things like there's no conquering if there's no situation to get over you feel me so don't get so caught up and wrapped up in situations that the world presents to you with your eyes. You need to know, you need to think with your spiritual mind and understand, okay, I'm going through this so God can get the glory. God wants me to go through it so I can get through it and then I can give him the praise. You feel me? Like it's, it's really easy to understand. It's really easy to understand, and I just want you to really grasp that, that God only wants the best for you. Even if you feel like you're going through things, and you're like, God, why do you keep taking people out of my life? God, why do you keep, you know? People, we get like that. We really do get like that, and we get to blaming God, but what we need to understand is that God wants us to succeed, okay? Your whole Everything he, that goes on here is so that you can make it back to heaven. Do you understand that? God wants you to live with him forever. Every day on this earth is a test. It's a test of your faith, the, a, a test of your endurance as well, okay? He wants you to endure the hardships that you face while you're down here, okay? Because it's like um, God needs, for the people that are not believers, you know, he needs people to be examples. You feel me? He needs people to be examples. Now, let me explain something to you. Me, I had to be used as an example before so I could be able to be right here in front of you to say what I'm saying. Because had I not been through the things that I've been through, I wouldn't be able to connect and resonate and understand and be able to explain anything to anybody else. Okay? So with that being said, trust God. Okay? He has the blueprint for your life. He's the only one. We seek after um, validation and advice from other people. Other people that are in the same exact test as you. 
They don't have the answers. Only God has the answers, okay? That's like the blind leading the blind, okay? Seek after God. Seek after his wisdom. Seek his guidance, okay? He knows the path you need to be on. He knows the path to take. He knows the way you need to go. He has it all, okay? So don't get wrapped up in the things you're going through because this too shall pass. Everything you go through, temporary, okay? Give God the glory every time you overcome something. God only wants the best for you. I want the best for you. I love you. And God loves you even more because he is the one that breathed life into you. God knew you before you even came out of your mother's womb. He He already knew that. He, he knew the things you were going to go through. He knew the tests you were going to have. He knew the temptations you were going to have. He knew your weaknesses. But he has also equipped the Holy Spirit inside of you to defeat any of those things that come in your way to try to throw you off. Okay? So, with that being said, I want everyone to just bow your heads right now. And I'm going to say a prayer. And then I'm going to close this out. Okay? Period. Dear Heavenly, most gracious Father, I just want to come before you right now, Lord, and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for everything you're doing, and thank you for everything you're going to do. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for choosing those under the sound of my voice right now, Lord. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us the power that rose you from the dead. Thank you for giving it to us. Thank you for helping us realize our authority, Lord. Help us to always know that you want the best for us help us to always seek you in times of doubt and times of temptation lord and in those trying times when we turn and we don't see anybody let us know that we always have a piece of you in our hearts lord and let us rest on your word and how good you are and that you only want to prosper us and see us do good you don't want bad things to happen to us lord but i understand that bad things happen and it is all a test of our faith, Heavenly Father. And I ask that you help those under the sound of my voice right now, Lord, to seek you in all things and to hear your voice and even just to try you out, Lord. No matter where they're at in their life right now, Lord, let them feel your grace and your mercy and your love surrounding them right now, Jesus. Because I can feel your presence and I know that they need you, Lord. So I just ask that you wrap your arms around them, Lord. And let them know that they're never alone in anything that they go through, that you're always there. You're wiping their tears. You're holding their hands, Lord. You're guiding them. So I just ask for peace, love, and wisdom to come upon everybody under the sound of my voice right now, Lord. Thank you for your guidance. Continue to watch over us. Continue to keep us. Help us to keep growing in our faith and help us to keep leaning on you in times of trouble, Lord. In your heavenly name I pray. Amen. Amen. I love you. I love you. And I'm so happy because this is a new journey, okay? And God is good. You need to taste and see how good God is because he is so good. He's so good. Mm, he's so good. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Love you.